Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Welcome to a live stream guitar build par excellence. This is a piece of elm. It was made into the headstock, which this is, uh, for the bell in 1899. Uh, I have got all of the data of where the bell is, uh, where, where it was commissioned. I, I even know which bell hung on this headstock. And we actually have, well, not a small pile of this stuff. And it is beautiful old growth elm. Uh, obviously, there's a few holes and bits and pieces, and uh, we are going to be making a guitar out of this. Uh, that's going to make... It's surprisingly light. I love elm. I'm, you know, Dutch elm disease, I'm personally offended by Dutch elm disease. <laughs> What I've got here is two of the older logos from the Bell Foundry. And what I'm hoping to do is take some of this design and I'm gonna be converting that into uh, an inlay at the 12th fret on this guitar. I phoned a friend, uh, I called in some, some help and uh, yeah, I've been sent uh, Ruth, Ruth Tappan, a picture framing expert, picture frame restorer and gilder par excellence, has uh, just sent me these two uh, sheets uh, from one of her pattern books, uh, which is helping me. It's far easier to see this than it is to see the engraved bits and pieces. And, and these are some of the rules for, for what these things look like. So that's gonna help as I uh, move forward, just have a couple of the leaves uh, go out of the outline and break the shape. I really want to make more traditional guitars. I've become known for doing just absolutely insane things for no real reason. I thought that I was going to have to customize the uh, the lines here. But the reality is just moving it back. We might need to do a little bit of sanding at that point to smooth it around just a, a tad. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. <clears throat> I was talking to the audience, but uh, oh, okay. you know. <laughs> See all the way through the guitar. Nice. Oh, so you can see through the guitar from that's, the side. <laughs> that's incredible. Okay, this is going to be so fun. Is it? Yes.
this strip that was molded off an antique picture frame uh, by my friend uh, Ruth Tappan, the gilder and picture frame restorer. This is going to be the uh, the racing stripe on this guitar. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow morning I think we're going to probably just end up painting that. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Well, I mean, copper leaf would be would be yeah, fine. We'll copper leaf. Okay. Sam's going to go take this now to to spray it. Uh, there's a little bit of dust on there. You'll want to brush it off. Uh, don't breathe in all of that uh, uh, masticated bits of uh, dead animals and dead rabbits. Dead animals. Tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Couple of spots of glue. Accelerator. And then hopefully I get this right. She snapped it this time. This is a Fritsch finishing file here. Okay, we're nearly there. Okay, I'm very, very happy with this because I don't need to uh, go in and re-inlay any mm -hmm. of the copper. I love the uh, 
the sort of marble pattern we've got and uh, yeah that's going to work quite well. Where are we? There we go. Oh yes. Gosh, that's cool. Yes. That's gonna be so freaking awesome. All right, it's basically the same height. Okay, at this stage, the instrument has had two coats of our uh, two-pack water-based uh, acrylic polyurethane uh, varnish put on. We use this in our guitar building school. It's relatively high build and uh, it cures and is ready to uh, use, i.e. you can put the hardware on the guitar within about 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on the weather. Okay, so I'm going to be using just a single coat of the high build guitar finishing oil and uh, applying that. Uh, we do not need this strip in now. We now have guitar finishing oil that has uh, been applied and buffed down and cleared on the guitar and you can see the, the difference from uh, the, standard, uh, the standard matte finish. Uh, it just adds a little bit of extra colour, a little bit of extra depth.
I've roughly cut this uh, uh, compo uh, inlay. Just want to finesse it a bit as well after the fact. But essentially today this instrument is going to be playable. Okay, I'm going to be playing around with uh, water-based stunning stains. These are uh, the Crimson Stunning Stains. Um, it's okay, Sam. We are going to watch you try and get up. I know.
so hey this is it thank you for watching this build series thank you for joining us on this journey mm -hmm. and uh, hey if you've been inspired to build a guitar or go back to building guitars or make some sawdust or hey just throw stain around like a crazy man uh, I heartily encourage you to do exactly that so that's both pickups yep why not Multiple cameras. Well, you've just finished building a guitar, people, and it's delicious. <laughs> well, well, well. Okay, there we go. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Uh, that's not me saying goodbye to the live stream people. That's me saying goodbye to the people who are watching the video. If Bear uses this, but.